Okay, so I was watching a video of Leon Todd the other day, and he mentioned a thing called scene controllers, and I'm not sure that I've ever experimented with these before. Actually, I am sure. I've never done this before. So, I wanted to put together a video, given that I don't know how these work. I figured this might be useful to one or two people who are interested in scene controllers. They're effectively sort of like snapshots from the Helix world. So, I just wanted to kind of look at these. Page 68 of the manual is a tutorial on scene controllers, which I'm just going to take you through here. In case you haven't read the manual, there's some pretty useful stuff in there. So it says to load the preset number 30, press page across a couple of times, you get to presets page. This is the quickest way, I think, to find presets. And uh, number 30, this is the preset we want. So it says the first step in using a scene controller is to assign it as a modifier source to the parameter of your choice. Enter the layout, navigate to the amp block and press edit. So navigate over here and press edit. Locate the tone page of the amp block, which is here. Navigate to the input drive parameter and notice the open yellow modifier ring beneath the knob. So these little yellow things. With the input drive parameter highlighted, press enter. So we got it. Okay. On the source page, use the navigation buttons to select Scene Controller 1. So that's way over here. Okay, we don't need anything else on this page, so I'm just going to press Exit. And now you'll see that that yellow ring is closed, so it's a solid yellow ring. Now let's set the values for our Scene Controller. Press Home to show the Home page. Home. And I guess we're going to press Controllers. Use the page button to get to scene controllers, which is here, I think. So here are the, we set the percentage of that controller one, which we've assigned to be input gain, right, on the amp. These will set the value for our target parameter in each of the eight scenes. You can dial in these values now. So, and now I can go plus or minus the scene. So if I minus the scene, scene. I'm just going to follow the tutorial again. It's saying scene one, set it to 20. It's also saying to use your ears. Um, scene two for a little bit more crunchy, 45. Scene three to 75. And then scene four, all the way up to 100. So essentially what we've just done there is we set up three different assignments for that drive depending on which scene we're on. You can imagine you could do this with a bunch of different things. What I'm also going to do is assign this high cut. So if I highlight the high cut then press modifier I'm going to scene controller 2. That's cool. So I want it to be on zero for everything except for the scene 4. So I come back out here and I go controllers and controller two, but you know, depending on which page, if I've already been doing this, it will come to straight to this page. So then I could set this high cut to be at like 50%. Or you could do this in the cab block, I guess, as well. So then hold this again to get to this menu where we can change scenes. So this is without the high cut on scene three. Or we could do it. I think there's something else changing in that scene as well. Uh, so put this one to 50%, this one to zero. So now if we're in scene two, we get gain pushed up as we go. see that in the amp block so this means for me that I can free up some other things potentially um, so I could have different groups of tones so I've just learned that we can do this and instead of you know having a replica of the wrecker rocket just with different settings on channel B or whatever 
we can just use the scene modifier and it's a little bit of an easier way potentially to set that up maybe all right hopefully that's vaguely useful and i'll catch you in another video soon See you in a bit so now i'll just try and do a practical kind of application of this so what i'm going to have is a, a preset with a delay here and straightforward reverb this will be the preset that you hear me using in the intro uh, we'll use the strat okay and what I want is for scene one I'm using a sir badger here scene one I want the drive here at 50 but for scene two I want to kick that up and have like a gain boost and a mid boost and maybe we will also up the delay mix for this um, so we get like a, a gain boost for a solo tone so how would we do this so I'm on a drive so we go press this if you're on this screen uh, this E button get different options here so modifier modif scene controller 1 ok then also we might as well do this now as well so I'm gonna navigate to here this will be scene controller 2 ok exit and then we also said we want the delay so the mix I want to be so we'll go to the mix page the mix here I'm gonna highlight that and also set that to be scene controller 3 so this is something you can use instead of scenes and channels or you know using completely different blocks this is to change parameters within a block I've done that now I need to go to the controllers page and so amp is here scene control so controller one scene one I want the drive to be at 50 and scene two I want it to be at I don't know 80 let's try that okay and then also controller two remember was mid so I wanted that at 50 to start off with and then I'm gonna boost that up to 80 so we get a significant mid boost and then likewise I want our delay mix to be around about sort of 15 and then that to push up to I don't know 32 35 we'll just see how that sounds that's what I've done in the intro tone so that's a, just like a sort of application for what you could use this for so we we'll exit that press store uh, what we call it what it's Cine. probably change it to Cine badger later on because we're using the badger so we've got this kind of 50% gain here and then our lead tone here with the delay coming up as well so mid boost is what's happening we're getting a gain boost and we're getting the delay brought up so I'll just show you that happening in real time so scene one then scene two ah we're also changing channels at the moment don't want that to happen come out of here so we want scene two that to be channel A just make sure that's not happening with the delay okay I think we're good so back to the amp block scene one drive at 5, scene 2, drive at 8 see what's happening there, pretty cool and also in the delay, hopefully you'll be able to see this the mix is changing, so that's what's happening in the intro that's kind of a, a practical way to actually use these scene controllers, hopefully